At face value, gliding sections in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe are simply designed for you to fly over out-of-bounds regions and nothing more than that. But if you get a handle on these key gliding techniques, gliding sections will be much more meaningful in regards to high-level driving. With that said, in this video, I'll go over everything you need to know about gliding in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So without further ado, let's start giving her, bud. We'll start off simple, then dive right into the more advanced glider tech. In this game, it's almost never about tricking off glider ramps. It's about drifting off of them, as you can see here. The gliding section will carry your momentum from your mini turbo and will be much faster as a result. This is just the bare minimum, though. Let's talk about how we can leverage mini turbo gliding. The most prominent gliding technique is known as the low glider. This technique allows you to not only release your mini turbo off the glider in a much quicker fashion, but you'll also get less air, hence the name low glider. And in most cases you do this, it is faster to get less air. To do this, the moment you go off the glider ramp, let go of your drift button and immediately press it again. It's a very simple technique, but once you incorporate it into your racing where necessary, you will save so much time altogether. The finishing touch of mini turbo gliders is known as glider vectoring. This technique takes place while you're in the air. You want to maintain the same horizontal direction, so if you drifted off the glider ramp to the left, hold slightly to the right, and vice versa if you drift off a glider ramp to the right. As for your vertical direction, you want to dive down to gain momentum, and before you're at the point of diving too far down, hold back and you'll get another small, not so noticeable boost forward. There are many situations in this game where you'll want to combine both low gliding and glider vectoring to maximize as much speed as possible, but this is only the beginning in regards to gliding techniques in this game. Dialing things back, we have a very simple technique for cannon gliders known as the fast glider. Executing this technique is very easy. Just hop right before the glider ramp and you'll enter the cannon at maximum speed, whereas otherwise it would take slightly more time to do so. Here are a few examples of the fast glider while I remind you guys to leave a like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video. It would help your boy out a lot and I'd personally really appreciate it. I'm uploading once or twice a day for the entire summer, so you should come along for the ride. Next up, we're going to direct our focus to three specific tracks, Mario Kart Stadium, Dolphin Shoals, and Coconut Mall. On Mario Kart Stadium and Coconut Mall, you can bounce off a wall, maintain your Ultra Mini Turbo, and leverage the Ultra Mini Turbo Glider momentum to stay airborne for a longer period of time without losing speed. These shortcuts are only faster if you release an Ultra Mini Turbo off the glider, and make sure it's not a low glider because you need the extra air time. But once you get the hang of these glider shortcuts, you'll be that much farther ahead of those who don't perform these shortcuts. On Dolphin Shoals, by drifting in the opposite direction to the following turn right before the glider ramp, you'll also be airborne for much longer. Combine this with a mushroom or two and you'll be able to save a lot of time while not being on the ground, which is especially beneficial in the event you get hit since the damage won't be as bad. However, these are not the only ways you can attack these shortcuts. By turning on motion controls, then holding your stick and tilting your controller in the same direction, your turn will be much sharper and will build up a ridiculous amount of momentum, as you can see here. This is known as motion glider. This is a little challenging to do on the spot online, but all it takes is hitting plus Y plus on your controller as fast as you can, and you'll be in business when attacking these shortcuts. There are two special cases for gliding sections I'd like to cover before closing out this video. The first one is on Shy Guy Falls. By releasing your mini turbo right before leaving the water and to the far left of the glider ramp, you'll actually gain much more speed than you would if you didn't execute the sequence properly. Take a look at the comparison. Second, the Bone Dry Dunes Glider Ramp. By approaching it on the right, tricking off the glider ramp, and keeping your stick in neutral for a little over a second, you'll get enough air to take the top path. While this is slower unless you're on an inside drifting bike, you'll have access to an item that you can't get to if you take the bottom path. You can really leverage this if you're front running and need protection from red shells, or if you need an item to take the ending shortcut. In any case, this item set is one that you can really take advantage of if you need another item for whatever reason. If you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate if you leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. This video idea was suggested by a few of you guys, so feel free to let me know in the comments on any driving techniques or driving niches you'd like me to cover in depth. With that said, until next time, thank you so much for watching, have yourselves a fantastic day, and keep on giving her, bud.